Hello guys. Happy Thursday. Yeah, happy Thursday. Welcome to your 4 p.m. fitness class. We've got a really great Tabata workout for you guys today. So our Tabata workout is going to be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight intervals at each exercise with a one minute rest in between. We'll go over all those um, movements in a moment. But we're going to go around the circle real quick. I want you guys to share your name. And then we can share like what is one thing that you're really excited about getting to now that Marion County has finally been lifted. So you're able to do maybe something that you used to do prior to being locked down. Um, my name is Sam. I am honestly really excited to get back to like working out in a gym gym. Not that working out in a garage isn't really fun, but um, <laughs> when you have an inhaler as your lifeline support, it's not always my favorite thing to do when you're sweating to death. So super excited for our physical locations to open back up on Monday. Allie. Hi, um, I just really want a draft beer. I can pour you a beer out of a bottle and tell you it's, it's draft. Not the same. It's better. not the same. I'm doing it for months and it's not the same. So. I know it's not the same. But maybe if you didn't pour it, it would be different. Elizabeth. Yeah, I came in late. Oh, you're okay. Um, what's one thing that you're like looking forward to doing now that Marion County has like officially been lifted off of total lockdown? Oh, I want to go to a restaurant and stop cooking. Because takeout yep. food just gets cold, so I want it fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Astrid. Hey, um, I'm with you, Sam. I really just want to get to the back to the physical space of working out in a gym and having other people around. Is your rotating fan not doing it for you? Mine wasn't doing it for me. <laughs> no, I don't have a big ass fan, no. <laughs> Molly and Brandon. Okay. Is it working now? Oh. <laughs> we want to go to <laughs> Brandon's having technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Thanks. <laughs> two months. It only took two months. He still hasn't figured it out. It's fine. Doesn't have to. <laughs> Justin. I uh, I can't say that I have a whole lot on my short list. Um, I guess probably going to work back out in the gym again, but otherwise, I don't know that a whole lot has changed. Probably with having Leslie yell at you. Uh, yeah, and Richie. I miss Richie telling me whatever I'm doing is just wrong. Yeah, I can do that for you today if you'd like. Even if it's fine, it's still wrong. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead, dive in. We're going to do 15s and planks today as our warm-up. So we're going to do 15 seconds of jumping jacks, 15 seconds of air squat, and then we'll mix up the last two movements. Some of it's going to be like a groiner, some of it's going to be a quad stretch, maybe it'll be mountain climbers, but just kind of mixing it up. So I'll call it out as we go. And then our plank series is going to be regular plank, side plank, side plank, and then um, Superman. So nothing from the unusual. Let's go ahead. Girl, you gotta move that tail. This guy has had zero interest in being in front of the computer until the last few virtual classes at home. All right, so starting with jumping jacks in five, three, two, one, and jump. Air squats in three, two, one, squats. If you'd rather hold it in the bottom squat, that's fine. We are switching to our first groiner in three, two, one.
Let's go ahead and switch sides. Go ahead and make your way back to standing for jumping jacks again. And air squats. This time we're going to go into a quad stretch in three, two, one, quad stretch. So just grabbing that back leg, pulling that heel to your butt. Oh, Molly and Brandon are holding hands for balance. Cute. Switch sides. Five, three, two, one, back to jumping jacks. Three, two, one, air squats. Our next 30 seconds is gonna be stretching out calves. So make sure you can either like flip in a downward dog or find something to prop your foot up against in three, two, one, quad stretch, not quad stretch, ankle stretch, calf stretch. Three, two, one, switch sides. Five, three, two, one, back to jumping jacks. We're gonna keep the last 30 seconds as stretching out the calves again, since we do have no push-up burpees and lateral hops today. Three, two, one, air squats. And stretch out those calves, 30 seconds. I'll let you know when you're halfway. Switch. Five. Three, two, one, relax. All right, so getting into that plank series, we will go from regular plank into side plank, into other side plank, and then down on the ground into Superman. I just realized you can barely see me. Luckily, you guys all know what that Superman is though. So let's go ahead. If you need to do forearms for your plank, that's fine. Same with that side plank. You can do it from your forearm and your knee as well. All right, so starting that plank series in five, three, two, one, and plank. Make sure you guys are squeezing your butt, pushing up through the shoulders so those shoulder blades should be rounded out. This is gonna be the same goal position for when we do our no push-up burpee. Go ahead, switch to a side plank. Again, still squeezing the butt, driving the hips up to the ceiling or the sky, bracing that belly, switching in three, two, one, other side. Pressing the hips up, driving through that shoulder. Three, two, one, Superman. Feet should be touching. 
pushing your belly into the ground. If you feel it in your low back, put your toes on the ground. Three, two, one, back up to regular plank. Should be driving up through those shoulders or rounded out upper back. Three, two, one, side plank. And switch. And Superman. Three, two, one, back up to plank. Three, two, one, side plank. Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, Superman, and then we have one more round. Three, two, one, press yourself back up to plank last time through. Three, two, one, side plank. Three, two, one, other side. Remember, drive those hips up. Don't let them sag. Three, two, one, Superman. Three, two, one, relax. All right, guys. So for that workout today, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times. We will do that. So it's four minutes total. We'll spend four minutes at each exercise before we move on to the next. So our first one is no push-up burpees. Then we rest for a minute. Then we have step-ups or lunges. For those lunges today, if you wanna like mix them up, maybe you do some forward lunges, some reverse, maybe you do side to side. I'm totally cool with you guys mixing it up. Just looks uh, whatever you're looking to get out of the workout. Then we have a one minute rest again. Then we have lateral hops, so it's gonna be side to side. You can do that over an object or you can pretend there's like a line in front of you and you're just hopping over that line. Another one minute rest. And then we have a hang to overhead. Um, we do really want you guys to use some kind of object. Doesn't have to be a weight. Um, it could be a pillow, it could be a book, it could be a towel. We just kind of want you guys to get in some different kind of movement, whether it's with a dumbbell or a book. Any questions? Nope, okay. Cool, so I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna talk through these movements, we're gonna do a few of the reps. We're gonna start with no push-up burpees. In that no push-up burpee, our finished position is gonna be like that plank that we were doing. We're jumping out into a plank, then hopping it back up to make sure we're opening those hips. Feet are gonna be outside the hips, maybe outside the shoulders. Soft bend in the knee, I'm reaching the hips back. 
dropping my butt to get my hands down to the ground. I'm driving up through the shoulders, then I'm gonna jump the feet out quickly, back in and up. When I'm doing these, I wanna make sure that my feet aren't super wide so my knees aren't caving in. So I'm still maintaining that almost squat-like position when I stand up. So let's go ahead. I want you guys to take yourself through five no push-up burpees. And then Astrid, if you want a different stimulus, you can do an underhand grip. Pinkies on where the knurling and the smooth meet. It's a Yates row, so it's just a little bit different. Um, after that, we have the step ups or the lunges. If you're stepping up on an object, we wanna make sure that when we step up, I'm stepping up on my couch, I feel really bad. So you're gonna step up, open up the hips, step back down, Goal here is always keeping chest tall, always opening the hips and squeezing that butt. Both feet come back down to the ground. If we're lunging, we wanna keep it short and sweet, not this big extended lunge. We're gonna take a shorter step, drop the knee, keep everything nice and stacked and squeezing my belly. Chest is tall, driving through the heel, using that butt. Same thing if I'm doing reverse, nothing really changes. That knee is stacked over my heel as well. So let's go ahead, go ahead and give me six lunges or six step ups. Everybody's looking pretty good. After that we have lateral hops. Probably the easiest one. You could put anything down, maybe it's a boot. And we're just gonna hop over that object side to side. So go ahead, give me six lateral hops. And then that very last one is our hang to overhead. So that means the object is not coming off the floor. The object is gonna come from us already being in a standing position. So I'm using a book today and that's fine. Object will start above the knees preferably, but if you have a little bit of a bend and that passes your knees, it's fine. We're keeping the object really close to us as we stand up fast, squeezing that butt in your belly, and then punching the object up overhead. I bring it back down, it stays really close to my body. You can alternate if you want. I just super suggest, since there's eight rounds, just sticking to that one side for 20 seconds and then doing the other side the next. But let's go ahead, four hang to overhead on each side. Do we have any questions at all? All right, I'm gonna give you guys two minutes to run, use the restroom, grab some water. I'm starting that clock now. You can also use that time to stretch or ask any questions. Or talk to me. <laughs> or my cat, I guess, if you'd rather talk to Maggie. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Oh, what a pretty cat.
And then she's just lets you know when she's done a little. I'm the same way. <laughs> same way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm done now. Stop. You guys have one more minute. So I would use that time, maybe stretch out those shoulders a little bit if you need to, stretch out the calves a little bit more if you know they get crampy from all the jumping and lunging. If your hamstrings are tight, you should go to yoga. Astrid. Thirty seconds. All right, as soon as everyone's back, we're gonna get it going. I am just gonna use the clock on my computer to count everything down for you guys because the Tabata clock would mean I'd have to like reset it with that one minute rest. No, it wouldn't. I could still do 2030, but I'm already here. This is what we're doing. No going back now. Either way, I'd still be counting it down for you. Elizabeth. Are you guys there? Yep, okay, cool. We have everybody, so let's go ahead, pass out your virtual high fives. Soon they'll be in person, no touch high fives. <laughs> Basically what we're doing now. <laughs> All right, so that first one is gonna start in 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Go. No push up burpees. 20 seconds. And you're already halfway through this first little interval. Five, three, two, one, rest. Allie, I would put your opposite hand on that rail behind you. It's probably just going to be a little more comfortable, like facing it. And go. There you go. Not that I don't want to see your awesome face, but that's probably what I would do is use the rail. Let's go, Molly. Three, two, one, rest. Five, three, two, one, go. Ten more seconds. You guys got this. Three, two, one, rest. Justin, I'm sure you already know by now, but you are doing this completely wrong but i'm fine with it just keep doing what you're doing three two one go justin's rotating for anyone that wanted to know he's just running through all of them it's it's fine it's the same really i guess three two one rest we are halfway through. You guys have four more intervals before our one minute rest. And go! Man, that 10 seconds really just like goes by. I don't even know why we have it. Just keep working the whole time. Come on, Brandon. Five, three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. 
Let's go, Justin. Nice job, Allie. Three, two, one, rest. Five, three, two, one, go. Last two intervals, you guys. Just keep moving. We have a big one minute rest. After, I don't know why I'm acting like it's a huge thing. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Five, three, two, one, rest. Last one coming up. Five, three, two, one, go. Let's go, Astrid. You got it. 10 more seconds, guys. Five, three, two, one, rest. We have a minute, 10 seconds. Our next movement is step ups or lunges of any variation. You know, I was going to ask if we were going to do these as individual sets or if we were rotating. And then I was like, no. I know. I'm pretty I sure last time we did this, we rotated. <laughs> so I just didn't ask. And uh, I can't it's confirm fine. that uh, You're this just one, not uh, getting as much of a burn as everyone. It's fine. Oh, Everyone's biceps are going to be bigger than yours. No big. As to be expected. Although I can confirm this was uh, this was still challenging. So. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I'm I mean, still we're still doing very the same out of breath. amount of time of everything. 30 seconds. Step ups and lunges in 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Go. Nice job, Astrid. Nice job, Allie. Five, three, two, one, rest. Five, three, two, one, go. Ten more seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. Astrid, you'd be better off like popping that bar onto your back and alternating between back rack lunges and front leg. Three, two, one, go! Let's go, Molly. Let's go, Brandon. Nice job, Justin. Three, two, one, rest. Five, three, two, one, go. You could have left it on your back. Let's go, Sendelwex. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Halfway done here. We have four more intervals. Three, two, one, go. Nice work, Justin. Keep it up, you guys. 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. Five, three, two, one, go. 
Come on, Allie. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. Two more intervals. Three, two, one, go. Good work, Astrid. Come on, Molly, you got it. Five, three, two, one, rest. One more set. Almost there, you guys. Five, three, two, one, go. Last 20 seconds. Let's go, Elizabeth. 10, five, three, two, one, rest. We have a minute and 10 seconds. Lateral hops are next. You guys, again, you can like unmute if you want and talk to each other. If you don't want anyone to hear the sound of your breath, just leave yourself on mute. If you want to show us your puppy. Talk about how wrong I was. How what you were? About wrong. how wrong I am, yeah. I'm very on brand for me. That's fine. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Ten seconds until lateral hops. Five, three, two, one, go. Nice job, Brandon. Good work, Justin. Five, three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Nice job, everybody. Keep it up. Five, three, two, one. Brandon's got hops. Brandon, can you dunk on that basketball goal? No? Feel fooled. Three, two, one, go. You can jump pretty far laterally. Let's go, Allie. Five, three, two, one, rest. Woo! Three, two, one, go! Let's go, Justin. Come on, Molly. Five, three, two, one, rest. You guys are halfway done. Four more intervals. Five, three, two, one, go. Ten more seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. Three more times, almost there. Three, two, one, go. 
Come on, Astrid, you got this. Ten more seconds. Keep moving, guys. Five, three, two, one. Katia, are you tired? And go. Last two intervals. Uh oh, it looks like there's a bumblebee at Elizabeth's house. Five, three, two, one, rest. What happened up there? She just freaked out. Three, two, one. I do like that whenever that switched, though, it switched to her face with like crying emojis. That's how she feels about this jumping right now. She's getting slower. She's tired. Five, three, two, one, rest. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, this one time when I was in high school, um, a bumblebee, I like barely tapped the person in front of me, but a bumblebee flew into my car and I was driving and I screamed and I like didn't hit the brake and I totally hit one of my friends in front of me. Thankfully it was my friend and thankfully it was just like a, so nothing happened. She was like, what, what were you doing? I was like, girl, there's a bee, it like flew at me and everything. Like my windows were down and I had a convertible. So the top was down too. And I was like this freaking out and screaming. No, I hate bugs, even if it's a bumblebee. I won't kill it, but I'll scream. <laughs> 20 seconds. Last one is that hang to overhead, you guys. We are starting that in 10 seconds. Very last intervals in three, two, one, Go! Five, three, two, one, rest. Five, three, Two, one, go. Ten more seconds. Come on, Elizabeth, you got it. Five, there you go. Three, two, one, rest. I know you guys are like really tired since this is the last time through. Um, be super aggressive when you punch that object up overhead. Go! There you go, Astrid. Nice job, Justin. Five, three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Justin. Nice job, Brandon. Let's go, Molly. 10 more seconds, you guys. Five, three, two, one, rest. Woo! Three, two, one, go. Nice work, Allie. Astrid, try to look straight ahead, not at the ground. Three, two, one, rest.
Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, keep it moving. 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Elizabeth, let's go, Allie. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. You guys, very last one. Here we go, five. Three, two, one, go. Last one, give it everything you got. Let's go, Allie. Come on, Astrid. Ooh, Brandon and Molly are synchronized. Well, they were. Brandon slowed down. Five, let's go, Justin. Three, two, one, done. You guys, great job. Way to go. I know you guys are feeling super sore still from Murph. We are gonna do about four to five minutes of stretching out. So I want you guys to go ahead, find a spot on the ground. We're gonna do pigeon or figure four, stretch those hips out. If you would rather do a lizard pose or a groiner instead, you can do that as well. We're gonna go ahead and start that stretch in 10 seconds. Oh my God, was Matt working out too? Secret workout. He made sure he was out of frame. Three, two, one, go. Matt, how are you feeling about CrossFit? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up? Okay. Well, it's like sideways. He's like, I don't know. He, he says he loves it. He did what? Murph on Sunday or Monday. Ew. Good job. Yeah. And he was only like three minutes slower than me. So rude that's offensive to someone who's been doing crossfit for two to three years <laughs> 20 seconds and we'll switch sides Five, three, two, one, switch. Good thing we're not in like a physical class, Matt. I would harass you until you were in pigeon pose. No one would get to start until you were there. I should have done it. <laughs> Put him out of frame. He's like, get me out of there. She's crazy. You guys are halfway through this stretch as well. So just keep hanging out. You're almost there. Ten seconds, and I want everyone to end up on their back. We're going to dive in a happy baby. Three, two, one, relax. Go ahead and make your way to the ground if you're not there. Flip on over to that back. You could also do child's pose if you would prefer to do that. I'm cool with all the options. So we're starting that happy baby or child's pose in five, three, two, one, hit it. Thirty more seconds. Three, 
two, one. Go ahead and relax. Staying on that back, I want you to flip your leg over your body. If you would prefer to do like a scorpion, you can do a scorpion instead or some version of a twisted cross. We'll go ahead and start in five, three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. And go ahead, switch sides. Very last stretch here. Thirty seconds. Ten. Five. Three. Two, one, and done. Great job, you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, make sure you get in a little bit of couch stretch today and always, even though it's most people's least favorite pose. But other than that, that's it. Good job. Thanks for showing up. Thanks, Sam. Done.